Hey gang, Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com. Welcome to Livestream News. It's Saturday morning, the first time I've ever done an interview show on a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, first time I've ever had two guests on, and I think the first time I've ever put AM on a show card. So this is completely new territory, uh, but a big event is coming up, and we wanted to talk about it and give a a preview of what's happening. Uh, Ladies Go Live is coming up on Friday, August 25th at 9 a.m. Eastern. It's an interactive, unique global collaboration for passionate women on a mission to elevate other women through sharing information, making connections, inspiring and educating others. And it's a virtual live summit celebrating women and the amazing power and reach of live video. Participants will live cast from around the globe all the continents except Antarctica are covered in this. And I'm sure if somebody was live streaming in Antarctica, you would have them on right away. Um, participants will live cast from around the globe. There's something for everyone. Uh, the panels include business, creativity, inspiration, philanthropy. Inspiration equals inspiration plus education. Oh, it's inspiration. Okay, I, I thought it was a typo. No. <laughs> that's that's why you've got to read the stuff before you go live. Uh, tip to uh, all budding live streamers. But uh, I'm so excited. Tina Levant, Jen Nelson from uh, Ladies Go Live are here. Two of the, the leaders. We have Lottie Hearn joining us uh, in the comments. Welcome, Lottie. Hey, Lottie. Yeah, she, she says, anybody who's in Antarctica, let us know. <laughs> so, um, Tina, you were, when I was talking to Jen, she was very, very complimentary of uh, what you've done to create this event or as the founder of the mission for putting this together. Talk about what made you get started and how it all came together. Well, Ross, good morning, and thank you for having us, number one. Uh, first thing is, this is like making lemonade from a lemon story. And there was a conference that was scheduled in your area that I was on a panel along with uh, Kathy Nolan, my friend in New York, that I know from live. All these people I know from live, Dr. Sims, Hillary Silver, mm -hmm. Zepson was our moderator. And who was the other person? And it just did, it fell apart. And then that was right around the time where they announced that you could simulcast to more than one device. And Jen will love this. She's like, how many devices are you using? I'm like, I could barely use the one thing at a time. I can't, <laughs> it's just too much stress for me to I do my husband's tablet and the phone. And I, I can't, I'm, I'm very focused and good at what doing, trying to do one thing at a time. So I called Zeph and I'm like, Hey, I have this crazy idea and called Kathy and we were on a a Zoom call together. I was in the parking lot of a FedEx here in Boca Raton, Florida, and they love the idea. And then the next day I came up with the name and Zeph reached out to a couple of people that were unable to participate at the level we needed them to participate, which is basically taking over your life, which is done for the last five months. Right. And Zeph Zahn introduced me to Jen and Lottie and the rest is history. We kept, it was funny because we kept, changed the date. And I thought, oh, we'll do it a month from when our thing was supposed to be in New Jersey. And this thing just like mushroom clouded. Right, right. What I could never even expect or dream of. You you thought because it was virtual, it could just be done in a month or two, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not that much effort. It's just virtual. No traveling. Uh, so, Jen, um, how did you get involved? I know you're doing Wine Antics, Vit Mug, Let's Live Stream. So I, I'm sure you had a lot of time on the schedule and said, let me take on uh, some big responsibility. How, yeah, that, that how, was how, exactly the thought that was running through my head. Like, I don't have my plate is, you know, just this full. This full is for the camera screen. <laughs> um, uh, honestly, when when I was when Zeph approached me, I'm always interested in things that women put together, and it's one of the four things when I left my full time job that I wanted to do when I got into uh, the broader market. I wanted to do stuff something in tech. I've now developed. Uh, I wanted to do something in wine. I wanted to do something for veterans, and I wanted to do something for women. So. Yeah. For, What's that? 
that all? Yeah, that's all. Like this, but this, this is a lifelong, you know, thing, things that I want to do. So I didn't expect to have them all at one time per se. Um, but this opportunity came up and it was, it was a way for us, for me to do production, which I love with Vitmug production. Uh, women love wine, right? Um, if I could work some women veteran in there, that would be amazing. <laughs> but then ho- helping the overall live streaming community of women, it was like, okay, this just, it all clicks. It all just fits right. So, Tina, how did you um, get into live streaming and then where does this sort of fit into everything else you've been doing as far as live streaming and, you know, online? I am a photographer based here in South Florida. I've been a photographer since seventh grade. It's just my passion and my love. And I love bringing out the best in people. So I'm used to being behind the camera. I'm also, you know, a little on the shy side. And um, (laughs) yeah, I I was thinking that. Yeah. Someone told me about Periscope right after it came out two years ago in March. And I'm like, what? On your phone? And who's going to want to listen to me and watch my crazy faces? And they're like, no, you'd be great. It literally took me a couple months to wrap my mind around Periscope and live streaming. And I went on, I race butterflies, which is one of my hobbies. I rescue dogs. I have a fairy hut in my backyard. So I became part of the Global Meditation Scope group in phase three. So that forced me to do a live every Sunday at 7 p.m. for three months. And I was doing butterfly releases and dedications and meeting up with other arty people on there and made so many wonderful friends. And then I would find that somebody would be like, hey, you're in Florida. I'm in Florida. Let's get together for lunch. I'm like, okay, get a public place. It's not going to be a stalker or, you know, the Craigslist (laughs) murders. I'm pretty safe. And uh, I just found that everybody was exactly who they were online. There was no fakeness. Everybody was very authentic. They were exactly the same. I'm pretty much exactly the same. And I just really embraced it. And I, I've, I've saved billions of butterflies because when I show on my butterfly scopes, for instance, this is a butterfly release. This is what the caterpillar looks like. This is what the chrysalis looks like. I had someone say, oh, my God, I was throwing those in the canal. I didn't know they were monarchs in training. So you just never know how you're going to affect someone in your neighborhood, in your community, in your state, your country, or the world. And that's what live video is. I chills, as Zeph would say, goosies. You can be the change. You can create a ripple, and it can start online very easily. So the event is called Ladies Go Live. It is the 25th of August. That's a Friday. Starts 9 a.m., goes to 5 p.m. Eastern. There'll be panels and live streamers from around the world. And then an after party. Uh, The web address for Ladies Go Live is up on the screen, uh, ladiesgolive.com. Um, people can just register by going to your uh, to the website, ladiesgolive.com. That's the best place for people to go. Yes, and it's free. Get your summit pass now because it's free on Friday. And can men attend as well? We love men. And Jen <laughs> does a wonderful job on the Man Up Fridays. We love yes. men, but we found that so many men are already embracing live video. They don't really need the confidence or finding their message. So my my goal was to reach out and encourage and welcome more women to the platform. But we love men. I, I actually happen to be married to one, too. Oh, wow. That's very, (laughs) Uh, but I was saying like, as far as, as far as registering and watching and absolutely. We were just featuring them that day. Right, right, right. And what are, um, let's, you know, we all know about the trolls on Periscope, Jen, and some of the things that go on that women have to deal with that men might be unaware of if they're just solo scoping or whatever. Um, what are some of the other challenges that, that women face that, you know, men might not be aware of in, in getting into live streaming and keeping up their, their shows and all that stuff? Yeah, I, I think I've learned a lot from just the women that have come in and we've done the meet the speaker interviews. Lottie, who is in the chat, has been amazing at getting um, our speakers out in front of the public and, and really introducing themselves and their stories. Um, there was one woman and my na- her name escapes m- my uh, thought right now, but she was talking about her perception, I believe, of being Pakistani and how there is a cultural uh, stigma of women, number one, in business, and then being on a public page, like just having a public fan page. If you have an ingrained culture of just that, 
Like we don't want you to, you know, be out on the internet in a public space, even if you're wearing the appropriate religious garb. Uh, we don't want you to do that. How, you know, how does that translate to going live or doing live streaming? I mean, if you have social cultural, bro uh, um, uh, expectations and limitations. I mean, it, and you're trying to be an entrepreneur. You're trying to do something better for yourself. You're trying to bring together your own community. And you've got all these things hindering you just behind the scenes. Imagine how far a woman has to go or how brave she has to be to really step out on her own, knowing what's going on behind the scenes. So, you know, many of uh, women's limitations start well before they even get their first webcam or they try to hold their phone up and like take a selfie. So right, right. that's probably the most I've learned. <laughs> and I think it's, it's really great that you guys are focusing global and you brought up other, you know, examples from outside the U S because, um, you know, the term first world problems. Right. And we obviously there's a glass ceiling and, and women aren't getting to be CEOs at the rate they probably should be and things like that. But you know what? Being the second person in a corporation or the third person, you're still doing pretty well. But in some countries where women are completely locked out of the economy and locked out of the ability to represent themselves as full human beings on camera. I mean, it's amazing. Um, if you're able to get women from all different cultures who who have such great challenges and they're able to be inspired and, you know, it's obviously slow steps in other places. Right. You can't risk your life or your family or whatever. But um, I, I think it's great that you're noticing um, the challenges beyond bandwidth and, you know, somebody in the C-suite getting a little bit. <laughs> a little step up, right? <laughs> and we want that to happen too, but does that make well, sense? Lottie had a great interview yesterday with Lillian Muller in Africa. And um, I caught part of it. Of uh, She's an African women's economic and entrepreneurship forum. She said, you know, they don't have clean water. They don't have jobs. They don't have clothes, but everybody's got a mobile phone. That's right. And it, it, just things we take for granted. I've chills again. Uh, things we take for granted. We're not rubbing our your face in it, but we're like, hey, we're using this tool, and this is an idea for you to use this tool to increase the enjoyment of your own life and the lives around you. And in doing so, you can touch someone on the other side of the world with yeah. your organization, your art, you know, something you your passion, your PMS, which is what we're all about. We're sharing our PMS. Yes. And what does that stand for? Jen? Uh, passion, mission, and sass. And sass can be whatever you want it to be. Tina's got a great nomenclature for hers, um, and I'll let her share that. But I have not built out my own. I kind of take sass as, as what it is, face value, like your personality, everything that you put into – you know, standing out as a, as a speaker, as a businesswoman, as a community leader, as, you know, a head of your family, because many women are heads of their family in terms of having children or managing the household operations. So SAS is just what makes you stand out, in, in my opinion. So when you look at live streaming now, um, there's there's a few conferences. There was Summit Live, and there's a few different things that focus on live streaming. But for the most part, it's a lot of social media conferences and content marketing and things like that. Um, where do you see this this event fitting in the landscape of of live streaming, and where do you see it maybe going? Uh, do you see future conferences? Do you, is this something you want to make an annual? Or Jen's uh, Jen's like <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. I'm just going to mysteriously sip my <laughs> orange juice. <laughs> Uh, oh, her orange juice with, or rain from your event yesterday. So where do I see it going? I never, honestly, Russ, um, I kind of like, I love my analogies. Everybody that watches knows I love analogies. I kind of saw this as like, oh, you know, let's prepare a nice little lunch bag, a bag, beautiful little healthy bag vegetarian, of course, lunch. And this has turned into a sumptuous five-course Italian uh, international dinner that is, you know, they just say just keep, following your heart, following your heart, the right people will come, the right opportunities will come. And, and this has really happened, chills again. Uh, it's really happened. So moving forward, I, I don't know what I'll do on a Monday if I don't meet with the ladies and then do our 1 p.m. class. I'm having anxiety already. Like, 
okay, our event's Friday, but wait, 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 wait what about after? So yeah. I think we are going to continue in some capacity. And that's you know, what I'm putting out there because we've created such momentum. It's like you're on this huge wave on the crest or the peak. You'll see those words next week. We're on the crest of the peak, and the wave is not going to hit the shore. That's and do, you, do you plan to keep doing the shows, um, the Monday shows, or you plan to take a break for a while and then start them up again if there's another event coming? So the only thing we actually have planned is to help build out this community behind the scenes, right? To help right. The, help networking really take the speakers that we've met and the participants that come along with this first year, this first journey, um, to really help to build out and how we can how we can make a stronger community of ladies that go live, right? Or ladies go live um, shows. Um, I think we're going to do something for the future, but we haven't planned something so as intense as every Monday. I mean, most of that was to, you know, kind of introduce our audience to who we are, get some live streaming fundamentals out there. We're going to have to relook. We're going to have to look at it because we've kind of talked about live streaming in its totality in probably 13 weeks of content. We're going to have to redesign and uh figure things out probably the monday after we will do like a recap right like this is what happened in the summit thank you for x x y and z uh to many people that came out uh and then from there we're gonna we're gonna have to put our thinking caps on and see what the community really needs before we do more live streams welcome peter from uh jeffrey's bay south africa also Anne joining us welcome Anne. Uh, great to have everybody here. Um, please do share this out. I know a lot of people out West aren't up yet, but they will see it in your feed and catch the replay and learn all about, uh, ladies go live, which is coming up again on the 25th Friday, 9 AM, uh, to 5 PM Eastern. And then an after party and you can get tickets by going to ladies go live dot com hashtag ladies go live and i will also mention that today's show is presented by livestream universe livestreamuniverse.com check it out and we are putting a panel together for south by southwest uh myself coach jenny monique johnson and Karen Graves. It's all about using Facebook Live for business. If you haven't had a chance to do so, please do vote for us. You can vote for us at LivestreamUniverse.com slash SXSW, LivestreamUniverse.com slash SXSW. And when you look at the events coming up as, as part of Ladies Go Live, what are some of the panels that you're uh, you're really looking forward to? I am looking forward to all of them. We've got creativity, mm -hmm. business, inspiration, which is a word I coined, which, <laughs> Ross, you are not alone. Everybody's like, I thought that was a title. No, it's combining inspiration and education and philanthropy. So we've hit everybody with the four pillars there. So I am, I am looking forward to each and every one. I know I'm going to dread that when any of them conclude, conclude to go to the next one, I just, I we have so many wonderful speakers uh, and panelists and participants. I, I'm like, it's kind of like Christmas. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm sure I'm not going to sleep the night before. Uh, I don't know. I'm so excited. That was very diplomatic. Very diplomatic. Uh, Jen, um, you, we know you're on top of a lot of what's going on with live streaming between the 17 different organizations you're a part of. Uh, let's live stream. Certainly you're on top of things. Uh, Vitmug from the production side. And of course, um, Oh, wine antics, your, your, your baby. <laughs> so what is, what is something you've learned in, in this process that maybe you hadn't thought of before, uh, you got involved with ladies go live and, and maybe that's something other people get to get to see or learn about on, on Friday, the 25th. Yeah. Uh, I also wanted to tag on to your other question before we move on to this one. I'm really excited because you know, I'm a, I'm a proponent of Twitch, even though I don't really use it as much, yeah. but we have Jackie Tang coming in and she does a cooking show. So that's, I'm interested in Twitch. I'm always interested in empowering women on Twitch, doing something other than gaming and cooking does really well there. And that's the, like the perfect compliment to, to wine antics. Right. So I'm excited to see her specifically. And that's just like my personal interest. Um, uh, but there are, 
are a ton of women speakers that are coming from all over the world. And I'm excited to just see how they're doing live streaming differently. Because like you said, I do do a couple projects behind the scenes and I try to keep a good thumb on the pulse of live streaming. So learning what people are doing and seeing if we can, anybody, anybody that comes in and listens to this virtual summit, seeing how they're doing something unique, something different. And if you can apply it to what you're doing in a different country or, you know, or to a different way that you're live streaming, it's such an amazing, amazing thing. So um, something that I haven't, I didn't know before coming into this. Uh, well, you know, pretty frankly, I didn't quite know how a virtual summit would go, right? <laughs> like, and <laughs> like, honestly, like a lot of this for me is I've, I've had a lot of first figuring out, um, implementing, uh, Facebook ads, not the first time I had done it, but nearly the first time I'd done it. Um, really putting together all the elements of making an event happen behind the scenes mm -hmm. and, uh, Vitmug Productions will be doing all of the producing. So figuring out the logistics and the, the people management and the show flow and how things are going to actually get on air has been a, a very uh, growth, growth oriented experience. There you go. Do you want to give us a little behind the scenes of some of the, the tools and techniques you're using? Or no. Is trade secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I mean, most people know the process that we do. If you've ha if you've been on Let's Live Stream or you've you've been on with me or Jonathan Tripp, uh, you know that we use Zoom and we use Wirecast, and we are so happy to continue to use those products. They've been a great support uh, for us throughout our production process. But uh, honestly, we are figuring things out. We are using tools in ways that we are not supposed to be using them. And I love it. I love that uh, element of live stream production, that it's still bootstrapping. It's still figuring everything out. I get to feel like a mad scientist when I do live stream production because I'm doing using everything the way it should not be used. <laughs> well, does Zoom limit the number of people you can have or you can have an unlimited number of people waiting in Zoom? So on my plan, I can have up to 50 people. So wow. we do not have 50 people coming through. So we are, we are good to go. Now, if you had 50 people coming through and you're producing it from your computer, would that slow things down, even though you only have maybe one or two on the air at the time? No, I, I think Zoom pretty much takes up this, the CPU usage, same amount of CPU usage with one person versus six people like i've never seen a difference out there in zoom land where it's right they're handling the video yeah it's not like skype where it's like right in your computer and you're like skype seems to push up my cpu if i use it with oh does it wirecast um but zoom doesn't seem to as much i don't know no, I've, i mean i've had six eight people in there and it seems to use just as much capabilities like cpu usage as um one or two people wow so this is this is very exciting so ladies go live again coming up on the 25th 9 a.m to 5 p.m eastern you can get your tickets at your virtual ticket for the virtual summit at ladies go live dot com at ladies go live on social media hashtag ladies go live you made a very very easy the social campaign to follow and you know great branding and everything um talk about tina how you brought um zeph i know you you were talking to zeph about the event in new jersey and when that didn't happen but talk about zeph and lottie and the, the roles that they're playing in this well one thing that jen touched upon is what we've learned is we are four lone wolves we are four very independent women with four very different personalities and it's it's like making a cake <laughs> if you don't have the right amount of baking soda and salt and sugar and flour your cake either doesn't rise or it it or it's too poofy or whatever and i i've had such extreme pleasure working with these four ladies and again we've never met in person but if i met them i know it's ex they're exactly who they are on and uh Zeph blows me away. She always is 200. I look like a lazy slug next to her. And I have an extraordinary amount of energy. But next to her, I am a slug with a slimy trail. She is like 
a, a brain power and a force to be reckoned with, a force of nature. She's done our whole website, a lot of our social, amazing. She's the one that led, that brought in uh, Lottie and Jen. I never would have known them. I probably would have eventually gotten to know them. So she's been amazing. Jeff is that, Jen is that, Jeff, I just married you. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Jen is that tech brain, and I always imagine her rolling her eyes when I'm like, okay, uh, we're going to be on, but what are we all wearing? I'm like into that Kathy Lee and Hoda, like, so let's all coordinate it so it looks consistent. By so the way, I, Tina, I'm out of purple. Oh, I would just like to tell you. You're going to have to repeat. So, you know, I'm very visual being a photographer, so I'm always looking at what does it look like. And you know, what are we wearing and what are we doing and trying to coordinate with our host, Ross, and make everything look good and look the best it can be. And then Lottie comes in with, I mean, organizing these amazing speakers and she's like made the list of ingredients mm -hmm. and weeded out and picked and chosen and moved things around and, you know, watched all the tapes and stuff. So the four of us have really come together and, and, if it's half as good as I anticipate it's going to be, it's going to be mind-blowingly amazing. And the great thing with live stream is, you know, I always say the train has left the station, but you can still run and catch up. It's not too late. You you can still get on the ground floor of live video. And that's what Ladies Live, Ladies Go Live is all about, is welcome you to the platform, having done the research, giving you the tips, the tools, and the contacts to make it work for whatever you're doing. So, Jen, we talked last year a lot about um, what people should do in getting started and how they can, you know, really get going with live streaming. And just in case there was maybe one or two people who are watching now who weren't with us at that time, what what is your kind of philosophy for people? Because there's going to be people watching this probably who've never live streamed or only live streamed once or twice and they're not sure about it. Um, obviously you've learned a lot since then. And again, not everybody is, was with us at that time. So, you know, what advice do you have for people who want to get started in live streaming, but are unsure of kind of what to do? Uh, so notional, like, I feel like there's a physical and a notional concept behind live streaming and Tina will start with the physical because Tina ho is holding up this great package that we have together on ladies go live, mm -hmm. which it has a very quick and dirty together what you need from a live streamer's perspective and that's that tripod it's that light it's the the ring holder for your phone and a pair of earbuds like mm -hmm. it's just that simple and that whole package is together is on ladies go live and we're, we're very happy to work with uh, scoping products on putting that together for anybody that is trying to figure out and know the tools that they need to go live and i think that's that was kind of where we were always having shows when we were talking about this with live video creative right <laughs> last year right. um uh we were talking about uh lighting and audio we were talking a little bit about the tools but then there's the also that notion, the mentality of live streaming. And um, like two years ago, if you were going live streaming when, when many of us started out, I remember I started in December of 2015 and you could go out, right? And you could live stream about wine. And if you were, I was probably one of the few people that were only live streaming about wine. And I could probably pr put out any content, like put out Sang making sangria, talking about uh, Friday night wines, um, sharing an Instagram picture or something like that. And you would get people that are interested in wine because it wasn't a saturated market. Well, it's becoming a saturated market now. Right. So you really need to put a little thought if you want to continue to do it. Like if you just want a one-off, like, hey, my kid is graduating. I want to share this with my friends on Facebook. You're going to be successful in that and you don't need to worry about it. But if you want to do this for business, if you want to do this for your passion, if you want to do this for your hobby and do it some credit, you really need to put a little thought behind it nowadays and how you're going to approach it. And there's so many smart tricks nowadays to, um, you know, uh, figure out your content calendar, have that little bit of a plan and it doesn't have to be excessive. Jonathan Tripp, you know, my partner with VitMug just talked about uh, yesterday on Talk Social News, having a content calendar for Trello. There are so many tools out there that can help you feel organized, have a good idea and take away some of that anxiety when you go live. And um, also learning about how to be on camera. 
Like uh, I think many of us have developed significantly in the last year with our, you know, improving our audio, improving our video, not only the quality of what it sounds like, but how we're heard, how well we're heard, mm -hmm. you know, how our presence is on camera. I spent a lot of time behind the scenes watching news, you know, watching how they interact, the pauses that they take, the inflection, the tone, trying to really understand it. And this is, this is all stuff before you go live because the easiest part of live streaming is right here. It's right, being right. on camera right here, right now. The dirty hard work happens behind the scenes. Welcome, Michael A. Campbell. Great to see you. Uh, welcome, Coach Jenny. Great to see you as well. And uh, if you're just joining us, Coach Jenny and I are putting together a panel for South by Southwest. Well, Coach Jenny's putting it together and she invited me uh monique johnson and karen graves to join her and it's all about facebook live for business if you haven't had a chance to vote for us you certainly must do that and you can vote for us at livestreamuniverse.com slash sxsw livestreamuniverse.com slash sxsw we're talking with tina levant and jen nelson of Ladies Go Live, ladiesgolive.com is where you can get your tickets for the virtual summit coming up on Friday, the 25th, uh, starts at 9 a.m. Eastern, goes all day long. Speakers from all around the world, every continent covered except for Antarctica, and I'm sure Tina's working on that as we speak. You got so, it. No, it's because penguins don't live stream. <laughs> not yet. That's, not yet. That's what we're working on. We've got the GoPro, you know, ready for them. <laughs> We've just got to fund an expedition. Listen, thanks, thanks for sharing, Lottie. Drag queen, okay? We don't need a penguin. <laughs> thanks for sharing, Lottie. I would also I like to let your audience know that, yes, uh, Ross has actually paid $5 by Ladies Go Live for every plug. Everybody give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. I honestly, uh, honestly, uh, Ross, you're, you're pretty magical when you are able to work in what you're doing, the projects you're doing that, that South by Southwest, uh, panel, which I'm super excited about. And you guys must, must go out and vote for them because these are amazing live streamers that are working behind the scenes that have put together something that this community hasn't done yet. So please encourage them, vote for them, uh, show the, sh enlighten the path. They are creating the path, enlighten the path for all of us to be better uh, in this community. Thank you, Jen. That's so You're nice. Welcome. Tina, um, let's talk a little bit about your photographer. Let's talk a little bit about the, the visual side of live streaming, because that's something that keeps some people from from going live. Actually, they wonder, you know, is my lighting, my background, where do I sit? Where do I look? Um, what's you know, do, do I need to have certain gadgets and gizmos in my picture like you know should the sun be on me or be behind me what are, what are some basics to your on-camera presence and and particularly like lighting and background and things that can make a difference and make somebody feel comfortable that they've got like the items in place the elements in place that they can confidently go live and not have to worry about things well, one of our great ideas came to us from Jozu and she talked about sunglasses. And when people go to do their picture of their, their profile or their video and they're wearing sunglasses, you're missing the connection with them. So the behind Ladies Go Live, we want to give you the confidence to show yourself and <laughs> be out there. So that was that's a great analogy. I love them. That's one thing. I know very successful live streamers, uh, people I know on Periscope that you never see. I've met Judy in real life. And she does amazing attractions and events and videos. And you feel like you're right there with her. So you don't always have to be on screen. I did my a lot of my global meditation scope from my fairy hut in my backyard. And people just like seeing the, the colorful shears, and the pretty lights. And it was relaxing. Lottie is very good about co coaching confidence and be about be, being seen on the screen. Uh, I always tell people, always wear a solid color. Avoid black, white, gray, mint <laughs> is the worst, and um, fluorescence because it's hard on the eye. White will throw off your white balance. So we've branded our colors to be the purples and the, I call it the Pepto-Bismol green, which is a story for another time. So wear a solid color on top. Avoid black, white, gray, 
mint or fluorescence that'll that fight with your skin tone. You don't always have to show yourself. Jen got involved and I got involved with her with the 31 days live challenge. And I don't broadcast every day. If I have a butterfly to release or I'm going somewhere interesting or I have an interesting photo session, the day after ladies go live, I have dog surfing in Jupiter, Florida, hang 20. So I will definitely live cast from there because people will want to see that. So right. Cheer your world. That's what live streaming is about. And you don't always have to be on screen. We did a whole pre thing about what what makeup do you wear? What if you're not a makeup person? Even guys, you know, a little under eye, a little translucent powder can work wonders. Natural light is always preferable on the skin. And you don't always have to show yourself to just jump in the water and hit press. Press play and get started and your confidence will increase. And you'll say, wow, uh, I should have had the sun in front of me, but then I'm squinting. I want to wear sunglasses. No, people want to connect with you. And one thing that I had mentioned, uh, Jen loves when I do this, nobody looks good from the nose hair angle, okay? Always have your device above you. <laughs> Thanks for actually demonstrating it as well. I, I, I'm good at demonstrations. <laughs> Um, always have your device slightly above you. And that's why our special telescoping tripod is great because you fasten your phone in here and you can have it up. And I am over age 25, surprise. So always have your camera, your device, your computer slightly higher than you because it's a lot more complimentary. It, you lose years and pounds when you elevate your device. So those are my helpful tips for live streaming or still photography. You know, I've tried to elevate my phone because I've heard that, like when I'm phone scoping or you, right. and it just never comes out right. And I end up down here, you know, like I try to do that and I end up down here. That's why you need our telescoping <laughs> tripod, Ross. It's basically a selfie stick with some legs. Right, right, right. It's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. So where, where can people get that and, and the rest of your getting started package? We have a bundle, a special package through scoping products that is on our link, and it includes the tripod, the most adorable little selfie light, which I use all the time, the ring holder, and the earbuds with mic. For $59.95, that would be 100 bucks if you bought it separately. So I don't know about you, but I hate researching stuff, and it takes up so much of my time. Just tell me what to do. Like, Jen will be like, just do this. Okay, I don't need to think about it anymore. <laughs> or I can tell Zeph and Lottie, I do the same thing again. Just cut to the chase and tell me where you need to be and what I need to do and I'll do it. I don't need to be thinking about it. So we've taken the legwork out of that for you. So and gotten a really great price. Well, that's awesome. Um, in the in the time we have left, we have to wrap up at 945. In the time we have left, if you have any questions about Ladies Go Live, about the event, um, about live streaming in general, about live streaming for women, uh, please do throw a question in the chat and we'll get that to Tina and Jen right away. Welcome, Nazim Beltran. Good afternoon Hello. from Italy. Ciao, everybody. Great to always great to have uh, Nazim Beltran drop in uh, great scopes from Italy. If you haven't had a chance, uh, definitely check out his live streams. Uh, so when you when you look at uh, the, the, the date coming up for the the event, um, do you have any any certain goals or targets in terms of like views or in terms of engagement or in terms of what you want to come out of the event and feedback or what you want to see? I know it's it sort of sounds like you're starting a movement with Ladies Go Live. Talk about what the what the end game sort of is or what you're looking for to know that this is this is you're on the right track kind of thing. I'd love to say we have like this grand master plan, right? Like we want 3000 views on Facebook. We want this, we want that. But, you know, every time, and I've seen even from right now, like from today's show, we've seen, we've had a couple people that have um, signed up. So thank you. Thank you, Ross. Thank you to everybody in the audience that has awesome. signed up right here today. Thank you. Um, but like we've looked at the participants, Participation and the uh, participation via the uh, Eventbrite and um, our weekly shows. And honestly, we don't get hung up on the numbers because number one, this is the first year. There aren't many people that are doing something like this. Uh, we're, we're putting in a buttload of work. So we know we're putting our heart into it. So it's kind of hard to put that number on there and set that expectation because there's no gauge, right? There's no right. bar to, that is set. 
for the industry yet. And I actually love working environments like this because it takes all the pressure out of it. There isn't this expectation to reach 1.5 billion people, right, you know, right. as a network success or the advertisers are demanding. It. I know, right? Like there's, you're going to get canceled. <laughs> there's none of that. I want the show to go off flawlessly. Mm -hmm. I want people to have an amazing time. And if somebody, anyone, just one person comes up to me and say, says, I learned something today that I didn't learn before. Like I'm done. Like that's, that is my measure of success. Tina, how about you? You hit exactly what I was going to say. And I hope I, I, we've all cried on uh, Periscope. I know I have several times and gotten choked up on some of our meetings. We've already made a change because I know people that I've either invited to interview already. They're like, well, I've never gone live. I'm like, I'm going to guide you through it. I'm going to be right there right. with you. Let's do it on be live, which I've been loving, which is one of our sponsors. Um, we've already made a huge impact. Chills again. Look, chills. Uh, we've already made an impact because people are saying, you know what? Because of you, I went live for the first time. Or because of you, I'm buying the bundle and I'm going to go live. I'm waiting for the video. We've already created the momentum. So we're we're already there. We've already climbed that mountain. And, and I feel we're right there at the peak and the crest. And I'm just looking forward to sharing the day with more people. And as Lottie said, our reach has been over 7,000 this week. This week. Mm -hmm. organically uh, <laughs> organically whatever uh i don't have that kind of reach on my private page or my personal page i know i'm maxing out at friends soon so that's kind of cool congratulations <laughs> yes that's fantastic. So we've already we've already we've already created change and i'm so proud again to been have been involved with these three other ladies and i'm so proud of the work we've already done tissue alert awesome <laughs> and i know this sounds fluff to, to to many people that you know we're talking about the fluidity and the notions of this of, of what's happening behind the scenes but uh and i'm not one of those people that usually gets um emotional about these things but i'm being very genuine when you know, if nothing else, the people that have come together under this this time right now, the people that show up for the Monday shows, the people that show up for the Friday shows, the people that have signed up for the event, um, we have already done justice for, for those people there. And anybody else that comes along, we're just going to enfold you in and we're going to welcome you to it. It's a networking opportunity. Like I have met, I met Dan, Dan Ram, Ramamuthi, who is UK based and he's doing uh, international speaking. He's a, a, a video creator. I just interviewed him for Man Up Friday. Uh, amazing guest. I, I got to interview the amazing Ross Brand as well for Man Up Friday. Like, uh, like what more can I ask for in life? <laughs> <laughs> and Lottie has met so many people and introduced them to the live streaming community here in the for the US and Tina has introduced brand new people. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the highlight of your life had had to come at such a young age, but <laughs> yeah, it's okay. maybe I could come back on again another time. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. Very humble, very humble. You know, one thing, so, Russ, we didn't touch ahead, on Tina. is the timing. We changed the date several times from the original inception. And then we were on one of our management Zooms, the four of us ladies. And I was just starting to try to find a date. And I thought, oh, here's one, August 26, Women's Equality Day. Hey, it's perfect. We're marketing to women. Then the eclipse is Monday about leaving what's not working for you behind. Chills again. Chill alert, goosies, as Zeph would say. The eclipse is Monday, and that's about leaving behind what's not working for you and opening your eyes, your heart, and your head to new things. How much more perfect that could that be that we scheduled the eclipse in conjunction with the same week? Woo! The event is called Ladies Go Live. It is August 25th. That's a Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern, and then an after party. Live streamers from all over the world, every continent represented except for Antarctica because there's nobody streaming there. And you can get your ticket, your virtual ticket, at ladiesgolive.com. No travel required, uh, just an Internet connection and some type of device like a computer or a tablet or... Uh, uh, just a simple smartphone, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and you can watch and participate and join the chat. And uh, a lot of great, great speakers and panelists from all over the world are going to be there. So that's Ladies Go Live. Check it out, ladiesgolive.com. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you so much, Tina. 
for joining us. Uh, it's It's been a blast doing this this morning. And I will be back on Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, with Kathy Nolan on live stream stars, caricaturist, and cast member from the Never Settle show. Please do join us at rossbrand.live on the live stream universe Facebook page. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much, Ross. Thank you, Ross.